So you think you're pretty funny putting us in the dumpster? Dude, look at this. Look at this. Corrales, he did some more additions to the gun shop. Put the stars on there. But he put a dumpster on the side. Trash only threw Schism and me in there. Oh, man. And, like, all this junk around it. This looks pretty cool. I like that. Oh, the competition is fierce. He brought his Captain America back to his normal stance. But tons of guns still holding strong. I saw you guys like this little pose here. You like Schism's gun sticking through the window. So I haven't done any work on here since the last one, but I've been doing a little work on my base. Slight work. Uh, we're going to do some... A uh, little more material gathering, but something I wanted to do today. Chimney is working on his place, the not-so-friendly... Get off of me. The not-so-friendly witch's fortune-telling and donut shop. But, in one of the earlier episodes when I was bouncing around here with those exploding shoes, I knocked off his sign. He had, like, a donut in an item frame. And I think it must have just despawned or something. So I'm going to get him a new one. I haven't made a donut before. So I want to do that with you guys. Do it together like friends. Like you and me. We'll be friends. But, like I said, i got to get some materials. There's a lot of lighting involved in my base. And to do that, you need glowstone. And one of my favorite ways to get, to get glowstone is from these little jerks here come on start spinning start spinning real fast and start falling is it too dark okay come on I think this one's getting ready to go oh it's going faster faster yes here we go don't get too close they'll throw those potions up there okay so so, someone said in the comments, hey, make a witch grinder. But, little did you know, I have a witch grinder. I made this a while ago. Uh-oh. No coal. Okay. Let's see. I think we're still doing decent. Oh, not doing great on power. That'll do for now. I gotta refill that bad boy. But, I did this a while ago. I made this witch grinder. And it grinds the stuff. You get a little mob essence. And... All the items go in here. Look at all this. So, let's get a little glowstone here. But the mob essence goes through this tesseract. Um, and energy goes in this tesseract to the Death Star way up above. And feeds the auto spawner. But right now, I see I must have shut this off. This is not connected. Um, what I've been doing with the auto spawner, I just, I just take this tank and put it on there. That seems to work the best. And I know a lot of people are upset with the full inventory. Dude, I'm working on it. Maybe I'll get another backpack. I'll get, maybe I'll get another backpack to where that'll be like all the stuff I need for the episode. Because I need all this stuff for this episode. One problem I'm running into, this MP5. Let me just tell you, if you're playing on Attack of the B Team and you use a gun and you press reload, you've made a horrible mistake. Because then when you press reload, oh, now you got this one with like a tenth of ammo left. Now you got this one with like nine tenths of ammo left. So it splits them all up. So the best way to do it is just go through your magazine and just let it automatically go. So that's clogging up inventory. But... Like I said, we'll work on it. We'll figure out a good way to get things cleaned up. I hate a clogged inventory, too. I'll tell you that right now. So, you know what? Let's get all of it. Let's get all the glowstone. And I'll show you I'm, I'll show you what I'm working with here. Um, I think my gray backpack, I could use that temporarily for a space cleaner. I think this one has, yeah, that's got a little space. So let's just throw the glowstone in there for now. Little bit in there, little bit in there, boom. Do I, do I need any of this other stuff? Gunpowder's good. 
can never have too much gunpowder. Okay, yeah, especially with opening a gun shop, you're gonna need a lot of it. So, I've had thoughts about having a chunk loader set up at that witch grinder. The thing is, it's just gonna overflow. I would need like tons of chests, but if it's running like all the time, that would just get overwhelming. So, I don't know, I thought about doing a, a witch grinder with the chunk loader, but then like being able to turn on and off the chunk loader from from my base maybe with a switch, like with a test rack, I don't know. I don't know if any of this is possible, just crazy thoughts. But it seems to be the best way is just AFK down there when I need stuff. But if anyone's, the, the nice thing about it is I think it's in a, in a close proximity to town. So it gets, it gets some use. Guys, guys. This, what you're looking at here, this is my example of trying to be smart and scientific and redstone savvy. I didn't ignore you guys. I read through a lot of comments and I, because you guys put in some ideas for how I could get this door to work. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I had it set up where there was a lever, a hidden lever here, where you just hit the block and it acts like a lever, and then one on this side. It was great for me, because I go in, hit the lever, and then to come out, hit this lever. But if I'm in here, people from the outside can't get in because this lever's already flipped the other way. So I said, what do you guys think? I tried to do the button thing, but then it's down, and then the button makes it go up. So a lot of people, I was surprised, a lot of people were saying, just have the lever to where the door's up, then break the lever so it's already up, and then put a button down there like the hidden button. But that doesn't work, because as soon as you break the lever, it goes back down. A lot of people in the comments said that. So some people were saying a lot of uh, a lot of different ideas, and it was hard to understand with words. The best thing is like video or pictures. But what I ended up doing, I watched some of Generic B's Redstone Academy. Excuse me, I'm burping. Let me get a little drink here. If you've never heard of it, check out Generic B's Redstone Academy. It's pretty great. He talks a lot about the Redstone basics, but I think since then some Redstone things have changed. But he talked about like and and or gates, and I think someone in the comments was talking was talking about this too. So this was the setup I came up with. I tried to do it on this side and it wasn't working, so I brought it to this side. The whole idea here is you hit this lever and it'll go to this repeater and it makes this junction. So then I had to go over here and then it'll it'll fire this one up and then let's see. Secret redstone. So these blocks just act like redstone. So my my thought was if you activate that, boom 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 boom, then it'll activate all three of those. So then you hit the lever, it'll go this way, but the, the signal won't go that way. So then it's just independent, either side. <sighs> so I did it, and I, I still don't know if that would be the right thing to do. So I did it, and then this is what happened. Great, I was so happy. And then I was like, okay, let's turn the door down again. And some of you geniuses already know what's gonna happen. Let's see if you know what's gonna happen when I click this. Would anybody guess that's the result every single time? I don't know what the deal is, but only one thing goes down and the other ones don't. So I was just like, I was working on this at like one, two in the morning last night. So I was like, that's it. I contacted Generic B. I said, I need your private tutelage. Please help me. So we are going to try to record a little something where he teaches me what I need to do here. Whew. I'm sure it's very simple, but I have like such little and limited experience in redstone. I need help. 
I just, I'm not afraid to admit it, I need help. Um, another thing I was working on, I got this all dug out. So what this is going to be is just a bunch of floors. I'm not sure how many I want to do. Ooh, hello. I don't think I've done that. Oh, dude, you should know. You should know better. Water hurts you. Yeah, I haven't been an Enderman yet. Yeah, because all of our morphs were reset, so I gotta re get them all again. Actually, I started ignoring bats, but if I see any bats, it's like game on. Any bats down here? Seems like. Seems like they like low areas. Low and like really big areas. Okay, no bats. But yeah, so I started marking out how big the floors are gonna be. I think I want it to be like eight open spaces high per floor. Cause I like to have quite a bit of area. So this is gonna be a floor, this is gonna be a floor. And I'm trying, I have a diagram laid out how I wanna do it. This will be storage. So the storage I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do that storage system where all you gotta do is hit the button, it'll show you everything in your inventory. So then the pipe will just go up and then I'm gonna put that right in the center. It'll be like the centerpiece. I'm trying to make it look kinda of nice and cool in there. You right click, get your stuff, boom, come on out. Next floor is going to be, what, what do I have on here? Tinkers. You guys have been begging for tinkers and I'm so excited to do it, but I wanna do it right. I wanna do it in a nice, cool area. And I think that's gonna be the second floor. Then it's gonna be like an armory, and then blah, 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 blah. You will see when it happens. So that's the plan there. That's gonna take a lot of work, but we'll get there. It's gonna take a lot of smooth stone, and I just keep throwing like five stacks at a time of cobblestone in there and just smoothing it up. So I got like a, almost a full chest outside, full of smooth stone, so doing good on materials. Okay, okay, gotta fix this donut here. Um, let's see, what would, oh, before that. I put some things, there we go. I put some things in here. <sighs> before we do that, before we do that. Um, I really, I mentioned in a previous episode, and I think it was the last episode, how much uh, I like this ferris ore because it's the only way to get the shiny ingots. So that goes into the pulverizer. And then, do we want it to go? Yeah, might as well redstone furnace it. So it goes in the pulverizer. So for every 10 of these that you pulverize, I think, is it pulverize or smelt? I'm almost positive it's pulverize. Yeah, pulverize. So for every 10 that you pulverize, you get a shiny ingot. Or so they say, there we go. That's what we're, I say shiny ingot, it's shiny metal. So that's what we're trying to get. So that'll be cooking. Let's get this bad boy. This is when I was messing with all those creepers in the, in my uh, auto spawner. So let's throw that bad boy on there. Nine. Ooh, baby, watch it. Watch the hearts. Yes. Yes. Okay, now we're cooking. All right, speaking of cooking. Little food plus time. So I already got this started. So I want to create I can't remember exactly what kind of donut it was. So I'm doing the chocolate donut. Chocolate is so delicious. So I got that going. Then for the donuts, it's bowls of dough. Bowls of dough. Oh, we're gonna get like four donuts, okay. And then for dough, flour, wheat. So you got that going. Let's get the wheat going. That's a lot of flour. Actually, I don't think we're gonna need all that. So how about just six? And then, was it like this to make the dough? Oh my. 
Oh. Need more water. Okay. So that was four. Yeah, we just need one more bucket. So, actually, let's get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of this guy the fun way. <laughs> yes! Dude, I, oh, ooh, that was a little farther than I expected. This is like my new favorite way to like destroy mobs. Oh, of course, get me while I'm in the water. This is my new favorite way to destroy mobs. Just stomp on them with those boots. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, you guys want a piece? Come on over here. Get together. Get together. It's going to be a group event. Let's see if I can get three guys, four guys in one blow. Four guys in one blow. Here we go. Here we go. Get him. Get him. Oh, no way. The little guy is strong. He didn't survive. Okay, we got to get to the water. It's like the only way to stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Getting distracted here. What were we doing? Water. There we go. Got it. Okay. So, what was that all about? Maybe bees don't like water. All right, so we get a little bit of dough, and that should give us four donuts. Four donuts. Um, pretty soon. This will go in a circle. This will go in the center. No, it won't. Nothing goes in the center. Of course, of course not. Ha ha! Three donuts. That's great. So we got that. We got the item frame. So we're good to go. Um. Yeah. So that should be good. Well, let's bring it over there. This will be great. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, guys, I felt so bad. Oh my goodness. Schism's portal used to be over there. I used to always use that to get back. And then he took it out, moved it over here, and I still go to the other place every time. But yeah, I felt so bad I blew his sign off. And I don't know if he's like out of donuts. But this is... You know, this is going to be a big thing that brings people into the store. But as we are on our way, guys, I'm going to talk to you. You know what? Well, since we have donuts and we're kind of hungry, it's starting to look kind of good. Wouldn't hurt to just take a little bite. Ooh, that's some pretty good health. Or, uh, hunger bar help. Help hunger bar. Something. It's good. Um, but here we go, here we go. Throw that there. Boom, baby! I really don't think he did chocolate last time, but I think we're doing him a favor. Chocolate looks very good. Did we put... I think I just put two of them on there. Oh, well. Oh, maybe I ate two. But guys, as we're traveling, I want to talk to you. This is this is the first uh, Attack the B Team video where it's after my announcement. So I've been doing YouTube videos. What? Did you guys hear that? Yes! I love killing these guys. Um, I've been doing full-time YouTube for like a couple weeks now. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Can't hit him. Oh, get out of my way. For two weeks, and it's absolutely amazing. But the thing is, I thought, oh no. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. There we go. Um, but yeah, the thing is, I thought I was going to have like, oh, there's the gas tears. That's what I want. Where are you at? Man, these guys are mean. Get off of me. Get 
off me. That's it. I've had enough. That's it. Get off. Leave me alone. You're dead. <sighs> Should have done that in the first place. <laughs> I love these stinking guns. Okay. But yeah, it's just been amazing. Um, but when I when I went full time, I thought I was gonna have like tons of time to like, like just tons of free time to do whatever I want. But it's not really the case. Like, I do have a little bit more free time, but it just goes so fast. Like, there's there's a few days where I'm just like, I'll be doing videos from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, and there's still more I want to do. And, or like, I'll go out and hang out with a friend for a little bit during the day. And then the next thing I know, I'm behind on videos. I'm like, holy cow. So... It's just crazy, like every single day, I'm learning more as far as like, how I need to manage my time. And the biggest thing is, there we go. Biggest thing is, I wanna figure out, um, you know, a definite schedule for you guys. I wanna be able to say, every other day, for sure, you know, we're gonna be doing Attack of the B Team, and it's gonna be at this time. So at this point, I can't give you guys a guaranteed time and day. Like today I got behind because you know I went out and bought a, I had to get a birthday present with my sister, or birthday present for my sister with my mom, and now this video is gonna be going up kinda late. So just little stuff like adds up. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to like get ahead with my time and everything so it's gonna be a work in progress but but we'll get there but I'm super excited to have like a definite schedule like these days you're gonna see this and it's gonna be at this time but once we get there I will let you guys know and I will try my best to, to keep it consistent um, well, oh, man, this is kind of this is kind of going a little longer than I thought. I wanted to get a little building done today, but I usually like to do that off camera. So I'm gonna try to get some of that done tonight, maybe. But like I said, most of this is gonna be smooth stone for the tinkers area. I wanted to make it like like all black, just because the tinker stuff a lot of it's black. So hopefully that looks kind of cool. We'll see, and then I'll show you guys. Let me know what you think. But for now, I think that's just gonna do it. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to get consistent videos going on. More gun shop coming up soon. Um, the friendly competition with Corrales will be very fun. Um, and then, like I said, hopefully, GB and I will get on here and we'll figure out how to do this. I, I showed him what my problem was. He knows exactly what to do, so it should be fun. All right, guys, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.